It's horrible enough, but I shall tell you the whole story. First, though, you must get me some food and light the fire. I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I'm cold. Yes, yes, I shall tell you the whole story, but you must promise not to tell a soul. You will make a bargain with me, Dr. Kemp. Do not forget for an instant that though you cannot see me, I can see you all the time. One false move, one sign of giving warning to anyone, and you are as good as dead. There. <laughs> I see by your face you understand. Now, get me some food. I must eat. Then I shall tell you my story, and you shall hear me out. Yes, Dr. Kemp, you shall hear me out to the bitter end. You may remember that at the college I was much interested in the problems of light. As an albino, I suppose, I was naturally attracted to the subject of pigments, and I began to do some experiments in changing the color of various substances. Finally, quite by accident, I hit on a method of rendering any inert object, a piece of wood, a bit of meat, even a lump of coal, absolutely as colorless, as transparent as water. And suddenly I had a brilliant idea. If I could control, if I could transform inert batter, why not a living animal, a human being? In short, why not make myself invisible? I worked at it for years, and at last, I succeeded. I will not bore you with the details of my experiments. I'm too tired, and besides, they're all written down in my notebooks, and you shall read them. I was forced to leave those precious notebooks behind anything when I made my escape, but with your help, I shall recover them. I have had many adventures as an invisible man. But it is not going as I had planned. <laughs> I am uh, invisible only when I am undressed, with clothes on. I can be as easily seen as you. Do you know what it's like to run through the streets and fields on a night like this without a stitch on one's back? I may die of cold. Ah, yes, you nod your head. I had not thought the thing through, I confess. While I was still experimenting, I saw only the advantages of the thing. But there are disadvantages, I can tell you. I cannot rest until I am sure that no one will discover me. I cannot eat unless I am alone, for I would be found out by the spoon floating in the air. In short, I am confounded at every turn. Dogs nip at me. They pick up my scent even if they don't see me. There is no end of trouble. That is why this is such a stroke of luck by running into you. Just think, man, I need an accomplice. With you on... with you, in on my secret, I can take refuge in your house. I can sleep in your bed, eat at your table, warm myself by your fire. None will be the wiser. I made a huge mistake, Kemp, in trying to carry the thing through alone. Alone, there is so little I can do. But... With a confederate, a thousand things are possible. That was an extract from The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells, read by me, a nomad soul.